I did a measurement session here with the control arm that actually went through an accident and we were comparing it to the nominal data and on the three holes that are used to mount this control arm what we found out is that there was some deformation on these holes on the front and the mount hole on the rear but the center wasn't uh, wasn't as deformed so what I did is when I measured I actually did these circles on a defined plane and I put the arm into scan mode which is the X key and then I swiped around the full perimeter or the circumference of the circle just to get a true form of what that circle looks like all the way around and then I'll go up to review features here a second and show you on the mount front what I had was 138 points I haven't put the part into any kind of a coordinate system or an alignment because I was only testing the deformation of these three holes so if I look at this mount hole front I had 138 points on it and I go to the readings tab so if I scroll down if you look at the deviation from fit column you can see that it bounces around between a thou, there's a couple thou there it goes down to two and a half on the minus side so there's some deformation that occurred in that hole that's known as the mount front but what I wanted to know is where does that deformation occur so what I did is I went to the whiskers if I highlight the whiskers and I'll move it over here just a little bit notice the whiskers here on my mount front hole every point that was taken during the scan of that mount front shows up with a whisker that shows its deviation from fit and you'll see that these points on this side and these points on this side are actually smaller or on the minus side of that circle for the deviation of fit and then these points on this side and this side were actually formed outside of that circle so it looks like it is almost like an ellipse and then if I went to the mount center let's take a look at that one that will be this circle right here a right mouse key to get back into review features here and if I click on the whiskers for that circle as well now I'll just move a little bit more out of the way here but notice that circle doesn't have that much deformation on it. I've got some points a little bit outside, a little bit inside, a little bit outside. Not as bad as what I saw on the mount front here. Let me go to the report tab here a second and then just look at the form. Okay, notice the form of that is only a thou point six. But the mount front hole, its form was five thou. So when I saw the form at five thou, I thought that's not too bad for a stamped hole but I did want to see if that form was truly an operator error maybe I poked in a wrong spot or as I was scanning I might have hit a burr or something like that but that 5.3 thou on this circle front truly looks like deformation now if I go over here to the mount rear and then go back to the readings tab you can see all the deviation from fit there and that was 113 points I'll go to the whiskers on that one notice that it is actually a mirror of what was happening on the other side hole, the mount front. My whiskers have gotten longer here and here, but toward these two areas, they've actually gone to the minus side of the deviation. Wow, that's pretty uh, pretty interesting to see. And there we've got a form of five and a half thou too. So I'll say okay. But now that's using the whiskers inside of review features just to show deformation. So if you start to see some form deviation that looks a little bit fishy, or a little bit suspect you can go right to those whiskers and it'll show you each one of the points and how it deviates from the fit But what I've done earlier is I've gone into my preferences here and then down in the miscellaneous under the part preferences you've got this option here known as whisker scale I've got that set to 100 so what it's doing is it takes the whisker and it makes it 100 times as big as the deviation so if I was to take that double click on it and say let's just make that 50 and say OK notice that all my whiskers just got a little bit smaller so I'll right mouse key to pull that back up click on miscellaneous 
whisker scale, make it 100 again just to show it a little bit more. So you can play around with that whisker scale just to show what your deviation from fit will look like on all of the points taken on a measurement. Thank you.